and welcome to the third video on electronic structure. If you haven't watched the other two, just nip back and watch those two and then this one will make a lot more sense. So, the first thing we need to know is that electrons fill orbitals singly before they start sharing. Our examples are nitrogen and oxygen. So, as you can see here, the 1s orbitals have doubled up and the 2s orbitals have also doubled up but in nitrogen the 2p um, the electrons start to go singly before they start doubling up and in oxygen it's almost the same apart from the first orbital here uh, doubles up and then the next two electrons are singly in the 2p orbitals. This is important to know for uh, shapes of molecules and electron repulsion when we get round to it. Next thing is ions. So, Mg2 plus means that um, the magnesium has uh, lost two of its electrons. So, its electronic configuration is just minus two away. So, the normal Mg would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then 3s2. But because we're subtracting two, uh, the ions configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And this is uh, the same scenario for the chloride ion here. So all we have to do is plus 1 to uh, the chlorine's electronic configuration. So we get 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p6. The next thing we're going to move on to is how the periodic table is really just set out in terms of the ST, S, D, P and F um, blocks. So the S block over here is groups 1 and 2. The D block is the transition metals. The P block is um, groups 5, 6 and 7. And then the F block is down here. Uh, with all the Ramsey elements that no one really knows about. So, this next little fact here is about the transition metals and they have some weird traits that you need to learn off by heart. So, chromium and copper donate one of their 4s electrons to the 3d subshell. This is because they are happier to have a more stable full or half full D subshell. Next little fact is that the transition metals lose their 4s electrons before their 3d electrons when they become ions. This is strange because 3d um, has a higher energy level but uh, it happens anyway because science. So next thing we need to know is that electronic structure decides the chemical properties of a element so um, electronic structure correlates to chemical properties not physical properties just learn that these two are best friends the next uh, fact that we need to know is that the s block elements groups 1 and 2 have one or two outer shell electrons and these are easily lost to form positive ions. So this is the S block over here and this is the fact that you need to know about the S block. Uh, the next thing is that the element in the P block here uh, can gain one, two or three electrons to form negative ions. And then the next fact here is that the D block elements tend to lose S and D electrons to form positive ions. Uh, the group zero, or you can call them inert gases, or you can call them noble gases, have completely filled their S and P subshells and don't need to bother gaining or losing or sharing electrons because their full subshells make them inert. And that is basically all you need to know for electronic structure for now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again soon.